So don't mind me, just having a little bit of a, a dance to the titles there. Uh, it is Colour Me Happy. But if you're miserable, we're going to colour you happy. If you're already happy, we're going to colour you ecstatic over the next two hours. Uh, because we've got fabulous demonstrations. We have got, of course, uh, awesome products for you. Great deals as well. We're going to be talking all about illustrators over the next couple of hours. I know that the illustrators, I think, more than any of the pens that we bring you or the um, markers that we bring you. Illustrator seems to be the one we get the most questions about, so it's definitely gonna be an awesome one to get your questions into me. You can do that, already receiving questions, to Crafters TV if you're on Facebook, drop into the live feed there. If you are across on YouTube, then search for Crafters Companion. Julie's in from Colorado, I can see Serenity's in in Pennsylvania. Clarice's in South Cal Carolina. Uh, Laura's in from Virginia, Mary in Montana. Sally's in from North Devon. Loads of you chatting away, loads of you. Um, all already asking lots and lots of questions. What I would love in this show as well if it is if you could just share with me anything you've coloured. I don't care if it is from our illustrator markers, our tri blends, whether we're talking watercolour or alcohol marker, jarred inks, ink pads. I just want to see any colourful creation to colour us all happy uh, on this Friday afternoon. And you can send those in to me just here, studio at craftscompanion.co.uk is where you get those into. Now, I mean, it's a great Friday because, do you know why? Because it's a Leanne takeover, Crafters TV kind of Friday. And Leanne is, as we all know, the queen of colouring. So, uh, Leanne, what can we expect for the next couple of hours? And welcome back. Well, thank you. I mean, honestly, I'm like the number 47 bus, Joe. You don't see me for three weeks and then four of me all turn up at once. Um, but I'm not complaining. I'm having a really lovely day. And colour me happy. Uh, you know, it's just one of the shows that i love because coloring my very first love joe you know that and it's the first thing i started with when i started um when i started crafting coloring is one of the first things i did i was so inspired by what i'd seen jane nestorenko doing um on creating craft that i just had to buy the kit and i've been hooked ever since now what i was doing just as you were having a little chat there so i was just gathering everything together because these are all of the these are all of the tutorials, demonstrations, things that I've got to show you that you can do with your illustrator markers over this couple of hours. And so I am definitely going to focus on technique quickly to give you all the tools you need so you can create as many of these different things that I've got to show you as possible at home, but with ease, because they're very, very easy to use. So I've got all sorts. Would you like to see, Jo? <clears throat> I'd um, love to see. So we've got this gorgeous little textured bunny. So we're going to have a look at how to do texture. We've got this lovely ombre blend with two different, two different colours on the rows. We've just got a really lovely fade out to um, a white colour. So like a nice smooth blend, a simple one. And this one, colouring a white daisy. Everybody always struggles and white doesn't have to be white. So we're going to have a look at how we can do that. Very quick and easy. We're going to do a nice smooth blend and we're not going to talk about what happens with the seahorse underwater. We're just no, going to colour we No, no talk, no bio biological we're lessons not, on no, seahorses, thank you, or mouse or gerbils or anything like that. Nothing like that. Um, and then we've got little uh, foxy loxy here, so we're going to have a look at how to do What does the fox say? I don't know, what does the fox say? Oh, 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 oh. That's what he says. Is he? It's a song. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I popped that one. I just thought, I thought maybe we'd lost him for a moment there. I thought maybe the, you know, that was it. Somebody come and take you out in a wheelchair. Honestly, I just thought we'd lost him there for a second. So we've got this lovely little fox and here we've got this little um, Shih Tzu. We've got our pause for thought. And we're going to look at all of We will of not the... be misgendering that Shih Tzu this hour. No, not this hour. Absolutely not. Um, she has a pink bone. And then we've got this fabulous Lee Holland little dragon where we've got all of that lovely texture, the ombre between the different colours, palette blending on the flower. And of course, everybody's favourite, um, we've got Mother Nature and we're going to be having a look at hair, how to get the highlights in the hair and in the skin. And no show would be a show without my mini in the show, my little uh, mini and tink look. So we're going to have a look at some colours. Which one's tinky. your favourite? Uh, tink. Because one Simon's favourite is Minnie. Millie, yeah. Millie's Minnie. the one that she loves the attention, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Minnie, I've met uh, Millie. Minnie just loves anybody. She'll go. She really does. She has no loyalty. Anybody that shows her love, she'll go. She's off. That's it. Where Tink wouldn't. Very loyal. Very loyal. Yeah. Uh, are you a Millie or are you a Tink? I'm definitely a Millie. Uh, right. I'm a Tink. Uh, 
Sorry? I'm a tink. You're a tink. Mm. I'm definitely a milly. Uh, <laughs> we have got, uh, if you are new to illustrators, maybe you've got some of the um, other markers and you thought you would really love illustrators. Maybe you don't colour. Do you know what? Maybe. I think this show would be brilliant for people that haven't tried colouring before. Maybe you're a paper crafter, maybe you're a scrapbooker, maybe you're a soft crafter, but you've been thinking, do you know what, with all the extra time that we've got on our hands at the moment, you want to go for a mega bundle. It is basically an introducing, an introduction to stamping and colouring is what we should be calling this. Uh, we, it's, there is a 22 piece mega bundle. I mean, it's, it's not 22 pieces. We'll get that taken off because what well, you've got alone uh, in the amount of uh, pens that you've got in here is absolutely colossal. Let me take you through what, exactly what you're getting, right? So you're going to get, let me take you through the colours themselves. So you're getting two of the six pieces. So you're going to get the earth which is in here, uh, that one just there. And you're also getting the tones in here too. And the tones, I've got all of those lovely colours there in them for you as well. So that's 12 pieces already that you've got just here. Then you're going to get the sketching, which is a 12 piece pack. So we're now up to 24 pieces. As well as that, you're going to get in here the illustrators, uh, the landscapes, another 12. So that is 36. You're going to get all of the seascapes, which is 48, and you're going to get these, which is the figures. So we're at what? 60 markers just in here alone. Now, if you went out and went shopping with one of the brand leaders and you wanted to get this quality with the, um, and Leanne's going to take us through what makes these so amazing, you couldn't get the 60 markers for that price. You absolutely couldn't. However, this bundle that you've got on your screen here at the moment, what you're actually getting there is for that price, you are getting freebies. Uh, I've got the wrong piece of paper. <laughs> You've got the, the freebies in here. The value of those comes to £140 or $141. I know. So it means that, well, Club Inspired Platinum members, £160 for these. You're getting £140 worth of stuff. You're paying £20 for the markers. Let me take you through everything you're getting. So you're getting ink pads in here, which is awesome. You're getting all of the pens uh, that I just shared with you. We're going to have to go because there's so, we've got so, so much in here. You're also going to get in here as well uh, the ink, the storage that you need, the on-the-go storage. So your 72 marker carry case, which is in here. You're also then getting as well your rock rocker blocks in here. So you're going to get the rocker blocks included. The mark case, the rocker blocks. You're going to get the stamping platform in here, which is awesome. You've also got in here as well, the 6x6 stamping platform. We're going to give you two packs, not one pack, two packs of cardstock in here as well. Is it two of the stamping card that you've got in here? Awesome. Uh, then what you've got as well is all of your stamps as well, which is absolutely uh, you've got you two all these stamps in there as well, which are one of your most recent launches, uh, which is absolutely incredible. It is the, a mega bundle. It's the biggest. There's the mega bundle to end all bundles. There are other smaller options for you on the show as well. So definitely go to the website. Go to um, the website. Shop the show uh, as well on there as well. Now, Leanne, I know you've got loads that you're going to take us through, haven't you, over the course of the show. I would say, wouldn't you agree, anyone that can stretch to it that doesn't have all of these bits, it's like, well, I mean, it's a craft in a box, really. This isn't, it's a whole brand new hobby. It's everything you need to become a professional at alcohol colouring, especially with a brush nib. It's the whole kit and caboodle. You've got your card in there, you've got your ink, you've got your stamps, you've got your pens in there as well. Every single thing you need and exactly as Joe says, it is a new hobby in a box. And what you can be confident of is that you're getting the very best premium quality. Now, I haven't been on a Colour Me Happy show for a while and so I haven't been able to tell you about our Illustrator markers. So let's take the opportunity to just tell you why Illustrator markers are so incredibly fantastic. This marker is proprietary to Crafters Companion um, and to Spectrum Noir. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is you will not get this barrel, you will not get this ink, you will not get this nib ink barrel configuration anywhere else in the marketplace because we design the shape, we make all of the outside barrel shape ourselves, we source the best Japanese brush nibs to put in here and the ink formulation inside of this marker is 
proprietary, meaning only for Spectrum Ra and Crafters Companion. And that means that it's not a pen that can be found at a trade show where you pop your name on it and call it your own. We make and ensure everything is tested to the nth degree and performs to the highest standard for you and I test that myself personally because I am so invested in our markers being the very best they can for you. It's a double-ended marker so with the illustrator you have got a beautiful um, brush nib absolutely gorgeous and crucially there are other brush nib alcohol markers in the marketplace which have a fibre brush nib in there. Ours is not a fibre it is um, a polyurethane. I think it's polyurethane or poly something. I'll Google it and I'll come. I've got it. Why before. is that important? I always forget the name. Because it's soft and because it doesn't split. Fibre splits at the end. The, the material our nib's made of does not split. So I'll show you the flicking. When you flick, you get a beautiful pointed flick on this, which means you get really lovely that texture and movement and beautiful shading that you want to get when you're using your marker. We've got a super fine bullet nib on this end, which means you can get into all of the teeny tiny detail with your alcohol colouring. Not a regular bullet nib, so this is much finer than the bullet nib, for example, in our classic marker. Because you've got the brush nib, you want the super fine um, bullet nib at the other side. The shape of the barrel, uh, we took feedback from you when we launched our original um, classic marker, our original, original Spectrum Noir marker. You said that you felt it was uncomfortable in your hand. So we changed the shape and we made it more ergonomic and very comfortable to hold in the hand with two flat areas so that it sits nicely in your fingers when you're doing your colouring, which means you don't get any finger strain or any lumps and bumps on your fingers when you're colouring because we've thought about the ergonomics of the barrel as well. All of that with artist quality ink inside. Premium ink, premium nib, premium barrel, all made exclusively for Crafters Companion. And that means that you can be confident that you're getting the very best artist quality alcohol marker for a fraction of the cost. And I make no apologies when I say this to you. When we first started to develop our markers, one of the things that I wanted to do was develop a marker which removed the snobbery from alcohol colouring because I didn't want them to be so expensive that it was unachievable or unaffordable for you. I wanted to make a marker that was accessible, affordable and performed so that you could get all of the results that you see all over social media, all over Instagram, all over Pinterest, everybody sharing their fantastic artwork, but it was unachievable before for some of us because we didn't have the funds to be able to invest all of that. And so we wanted to make them very affordable, but give you all of the quality and the reliability and the premium feel of using that at home. And we've achieved that. And there's eight years ago, I think it is now, that we launched our first ever alcohol marker, a long time ago. Um, and we are still at the forefront of leading when it comes to colouring mediums because we put so much time into making sure the quality is exceptional for you. And I think what's brilliant is, you know, uh we give you all that education for free. You know, there's other companies out there which will, you know, put a monetary value next to their education. I think to myself, Leanne, the cheek, the nerve, uh, the audacity, the gall and the gumption personally, whereas here, what you'll always get is all of the education totally free of charge, won't you? Absolutely you will, because, you know, we don't, we don't want to put a value on that for you. We just want to help you um, get the best out of our markers and that's what we do here at Crafters TV with all of our craft alongs and Culling Me Happies and Masterclasses. We just take the time to help you get the very best out of your products but also to introduce you to these new products like that fantastic bundle you've got today which is going to give you everything you need to be able to achieve the beautiful results you're going to see me show you over the course of the next couple of hours but you're going to achieve them effortlessly mm, um, and you can be guaranteed that you will get that result yourself at home. Yeah, absolutely. Loads of questions coming in. What I'm going to do is going to save them all up. We'll do a bit of a Q&A as we go through. Because we are looking at a kind of, you know, it is, in essence, when this box turns up, you've got a hobby in a box right here. Uh, and would you agree, Leanne, that you've got everything that you need colour-wise in here to colour in a real broad range of topics, whether that is, you know, architecture, landscapes, animals, uh, whatever it is that you need, you've kind of got it. 
uh, covered uh, in here as well. So um, you've got all of that in there. Because it is as well a kind of hobby in a box, this collection, Leanne, I mean, there'll be a lot of people maybe that are getting this kit home that will be using illustrators and illustrator is their first pen they've used. I mean, the fact that we can make it affordable enough that we can make our illustrators entry level, I think is sensational. But anyone that does not colored before, what would you like them to do? Where would you like them to start when it comes to their coloring journey, Leanne? So I would like you to start practicing your flicks with an illustrator marker it's definitely starting with your flicks and that's because you have got a brush marker here now I'm on a scrap piece of cardstock in fact I'm just going to do it at the bottom of this little dog this is going to be the my practice piece um, and then we'll colour another one in a second this is a piece of Nina um, super smooth cardstock now the cardstock you stamp onto incredibly important because you need something which is not porous which is smooth but not coated and something which isn't too thick so it doesn't suck all of the ink out of your pen our premium marker pad and the Nina classic crest that we have here for you are the two best cardstocks for the job when it comes to alcohol coloring you'll get the best lay down and the best blending so start with the correct cardstock always never just a random piece out of the craft stash at home then always colour onto something absorbent. So here I've got some pieces of just uh, stamping card, which is cruddy and mucky. Um, anything, doesn't matter as long as it's absorbent. Never colour directly onto your glass mat, a craft mat or a heat resistant mat or your kitchen table or a tray. Always have something porous, something absorbent underneath to take any excess ink that moves through the image. Then with your illustrator marker, what you're going to do is just practising how to do your different flicks and your different flicks are um, led by your brush and I've just got a little pile of Nina cardstock here so I can show you what I mean the brush is lovely and soft but you do have control over it so depending on how you angle your pen will differ the type of stroke you can get and this is what you need to do so you're going to flick now to flick I'm anchoring my wrist on the table and then I'm moving my fingers only so anchoring my wrist, moving my fingers only. I'm not taking my hand off the page and doing this sweeping motion. Hand stays firmly where it is. And my fingers flick from the wrist up. And I get these lovely flicks from my alcohol marker. And when we come in really, really close on these, as close as we possibly can, what you'll see at the top here is it tapers from the wider at the bottom all the way up into a beautiful fine point and what you don't get is any splaying or splitting that you get from a cheaper fibre brush nib. Okay. So that gives so you, you that lovely point. So you almost with like brush strokes in it with a, yes. with a, uh, a less fibre. premium nib. Yes, absolutely. It splits and splays. Whereas you get the beautiful point. Now, what happens now is if you want to do a wider flick, a wider brush flick because you're doing a bigger image or it's the type of effect you want to get all you do is angle the brush so I'm going to instead of keeping it vertical I'm just going to put a little angle on it and then what you'll see is the base of my flick is wider and so if I come further down I can actually travel further my hand is still anchored to the page and I'm still only flicking my fingers but I've got a much wider flick if I'm doing a larger area. Now, if I take my hand away, what I can do is really large flicks. And I've still got my hand anchored on the page. I'm just angling the brush further down and I can get that really lovely soft look and look how far I can travel with that. So it just depends on whether the pen is held vertical or whether the pen is held on an angle. Your brush is still going to work for you. And if I come over that and layer some of those, you can see by going over the top and layering it, look how, without any effort at all, Joe, not a single piece of effort from me, but simply layering over flicks, look at that beautiful, can smooth... Can you lay different colours over each other when you're You can, flicking? and we're going to do that next. Awesome. We've got that beautiful, soft blend and grade of colour because of the premium ink, the premium nib, and the ability to just flick this through you get that effortless blend no effort from you at all you're simply flicking color on there that is as soon as you understand your flicks you can color anything joe and it really is very very easy to do okay. so once getting... you practice them you're going to move them to an image joe awesome i just want to let everyone know how busy it's getting uh, uh, online there are three different options remember you've got the big big uh kit 
uh, which is awesome. So if you want to go through the big kit, the main kit, which is on your screen there, £200, $275, 60 markers in there, uh, freebies in here total £140 or $140, uh, platinum members today £160 to get this, or $220. You're basically saving, uh, well, as a platinum member in the US, you are saving the cost of the freebies, which is amazing value for money. So that's the big kit. Remember what's in there. You've got all of the pens in there. You've got the ink pads. You've got the storage. You've got the rocker blocks, the stamping platform, the stamping mat. Uh, you've also then got as well uh, the photopolymer stamps in there and you've got the stamping card now the stamping card is going to be a great mount and a card blank or something you can ink over and then pop your colored artwork onto uh, which is fantastic now what else I'd like to tell you about and give you a heads up um, on are some of the other things that are proving very busy now with a 36 marker collection for you this is awesome because you've got in here also the stamps which is brilliant you've also got as well the rocker blocks in here and you've got some of that stamping card which is going to be great for things like your card blanks as well I'll just show you a picture of that because here you can see absolutely everything now the great thing is here club me club inspired platinum members here you pay 80 pounds or uh, 116 dollars uh, and you've got free items in there worth 69 pounds or 68 dollars so i mean again you're only paying about 20 pounds as a platinum member for the actual pens which is unbelievable when you consider if you were to go out on the market and buy something like a copic sketch you'd be looking at I think we think conservatively four to six pounds per marker. Something like a pro marker, you'd be looking at at least three to four pounds per marker. That's to get the equivalent quality that we are bringing you here. I've got one more option I want to share with you as well. Maybe if you really just want to dip your toe in, you want to try. Maybe you've got our tri blend brush pens and you're thinking, Do you know what, I'm going to upgrade, I'm going to go for this. Here's a 20 marker collection for you. This one's 50 pounds or $75. As a platinum member, you'd get that for 40 pounds or $60 uh, there to grab hold of that. So it doesn't matter really where you are, Leanne, in your colouring journey, if you're, uh, you're sort of a dip your toe in, you're semi-serious, or you do you know what, I want a brand new hobby in a box, we have got all of you covered. If you want to see more details about which is in which collection, pop yourself over to the website, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu, click shop the show. You could even just buy individual four pack of these on the website, if you will. What I don't want people to do, Leanne, is think that if they don't buy that big collection, they can't get involved, they can't start. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great, don't you, Leanne? Oh, do you know what? That, I love that. Absolutely, Joe. I could not have said that better myself. I would never have thought of saying that anyway, so that's fantastic. I'm going to keep that now. I'm going to use that so often. You're going to hear it on so many different occasions, in meetings, on Zoom calls, on Crafters TV shows. You're going to hear it. Oh, what? You don't have to be a uh, great start, but you have to start to be Yes! Great. Okay. I love that. You're going to use my catch light I'm going to lose you. The yeah, cheek, the it. nerve, the gall, the orsacity and the gumption is what I've got to say, <laughs> But you know what? That's the kind of girl I am, Joe, and uh, you'll hear it. Um, but I know that you don't mind sharing with me. Now, no, you just need to pick up a marker and practice your flicks. Even if you just got that small collection and coloured two florals and practice your flicks, you're going to be buying more markers straight away because you're going to have such a fantastic experience. Let me show you with this fabulous little pause for thought dog how easy it is to take what I've just shown you with those flicks and then get something exceptional with texture effortlessly simply using that flick technique and nothing else. Names on a postcard, please, for the name of this dog. By postcard, I mean Facebook or YouTube comment. Get your, um, get your comments in. I'm gonna say he's called, they're called. Let's go with them, they, because we get in so much trouble they. when we try to gender this we shih tzu. Uh, so let's go with, I would say Floofy is what I would call them. Floofy. Floofy. I'm going with- F-L-O-O-F-Y, Floofy. Floofy. I'm going with Nibbles. Nibbles? Yeah. Okay. Nibbles. Right, so now what I've done is I've taken some markers and I'm using the figure set here and I've got three, uh, sorry, four markers in my tan range. And so my four markers in my tan range are TN2, TN7, TN8 and TN9. I've also got one marker from my Seascape collection and that is an RB1 which is just a very nice pale colour. That's going to be for my highlights. So I'm going to start with this one and I've got my brush nib. I've got floofy or nibbles and I'm going to start with a leg. So exactly as we just talked with the flicking before, I'm going to hold my pen pretty vertical and I'm going to flick in from the foot into the middle of the leg. So you can see I'm just flicking in some of that texture there. Uh, Kathy's Very asking easy. what paper and what ink are you using here, Leanne? So this is Nina Solar White. Yep. 
Or you can use Crafters Companion Premium Marker Card. Yeah. And the ink pad I'm using is Finesse Alcohol Proof. Which is in that big bundle. If you're going for the big bundle, you'll get four of those ink pads in there. It's essential. It's the first time an ink pad has been developed with the correct ink formula in to give you a beautiful crisp stamped image, but not bleed or move or fuzz when you put alcohol ink over it. So this is my lightest colour. Now I'm taking uh, my next colour up, so I'm working from light to dark. So my lightest colour and then getting a little step darker every step I go. So now I'm going in with the next colour and I'm flicking over the top again into the centre. And so I'm just building up the flicks and the texture and that's how easy it is. Now what I do at this point is turn Floofy round. I'm liking Floofy Joe. Um, and I'm going to do exactly the same into the centre of the Do you leg. know what we need to get you, don't we? What? And I can't, uh, is it on the show? I mean, if it isn't, I can't believe it isn't. Uh, it's a you rotating design board. We had it on the uh, cartload with 10% off last night, you know. Really? Yeah. So there we go. Flicks down into the centre, preserving the highlight in the middle. So then I move that marker to one side. I take my next darkest marker and do little flicks again. From the base up into the centre. It looks so textured already, doesn't it? Yeah. It's just, it's the quality of the nib. And all I'm doing here is the flicks. Nothing more, nothing less. Exactly what I told you to practice the first time. And it's just about turning it round, preserving your highlight in the centre, flicking in one direction, and then flicking in the opposite direction. And what I'm doing is, notice, I'm varying the length of the flicks. And what that does is really give you the textural fur-like finish and the movement um, and the, the light and shade in the correct places. Uh, some questions coming in still. Yeah. Uh, how many illustrators are there in the entire range, Leanne? Um, in the entire collection, so even if you buy the individual markers that, not are, in that are not in boxes, yeah. there are 214 colours. Awesome. So you've got 60 to get you going. So definitely something that's going to grow with you. Then you collect, collect more of as you go. Um, so it's Diane asking that. So a good start for you. Uh, Joe, please ask Leanne if the hint of pens are a lighter colour than the illustrator or another pen collection. The hint of, of course, are our get it, got it good deal uh, this week, Leanne. So the hint ofs are um, in the classic marker barrel, so they don't have a brush nib, they have the bullet nib, and they are a different set of colours. Awesome. Um, just um, a question from me here, so it might hmm. be a, a stupid one, you never know. Um, are there any things like types of colouring that you don't colour with brush nibs? Can you colour anything with a brush nib? Anything. Could you do a building with a brush nib, for instance? Could yep. you colour a car with a brush nib? Yep, absolutely. And I'm going to be showing you some smooth blending as we move through Colour Me Happy. And that is the technique you would use um, to be able to do that. So, of course. Now, what I've done is I've come to my middle colour. So, you see, I, I did all of my flicking from the top to the bottom. And I've kept preserving my highlight in the centre. And then what I'm doing now is just taking that middle colour and I'm elongating my flicks into the centre of the fur and what that does is start to fill in some of the gaps but gives me the natural highlight and movement in the fur um, and I will leave those white areas, I will not fill that in solid because that's what gives you the textural finish um, and then I'll take to the lightest one again, the one we started with start at the base, flick all the way down again into the centre and then do the same in the opposite direction flicking into the centre and it gives you the movement and the texture of the fur of those legs straight away and you continue to do exactly the same on the whole little doggy. So I use different colours here but you get the same result just whether you've got a russet brown doggy or an earth brown doggy and I just did the same on the body, I did the same um, on, on his bottom here, same on the, the body here same on the ears, start at the bottom, flick in the middle, start at the top, flick into the middle. On the little moustache, on the chin, on the eyebrows, on the ponytail. The whole thing being done in exactly the same way. You just start at one end, flick in, start at the other end, flick in and build up the colour on the little uh, doggy as you go along. Fantastic. I mean, just shows you how really, you know, I think maybe you look at that as a whole project and feel slightly overwhelmed by it, but it shows you that 
it really is just one simple stroke or movement that you're just layering up. And that's the great thing about these Colour Me Happy shows. I think this is the fourth or fifth Illustrator Colour Me Happy show we will have done uh, since we launched Crafters TV. So, I mean, you buy these today, you've instantly got their 10 hours worth of uh, education inspiration that you can go back and watch immediately uh, over on our website as well. A few questions coming in about tri-blend brush pens and where they sit alongside that. Um, uh, Leanne, I mean, quality-wise, I think... Uh, these are what I would say up there is the, would you say these are sort of the Rolls Royce of what we bring people in the Spectrum Noir brand? Oh, yes, uh, absolutely, brand. 100%. These are the top of the tree. When it comes to Spectrum Noir, the most premium marker we have in our collection is this one. So would you say those people maybe that did dip their toe in with the tri-blend brush pens, this would be a great upgrade for those, for those people that have enjoyed using those? Absolutely it is. It is the, the most um, natural progression for you if that's what you if that's what you're doing um you go from tri-blend brush onto illustrator and you know you can use all of the techniques that you've been trying with your tri-blend brush but you can do them with your illustrator and what you can see that i'm doing here is joe i'm using the exact same technique i showed you for the legs but i'm applying it to each separate little body part on the doggy and that will build up that full colored uh floofy for us all when it's done how fantastic. I'm just going through uh, some of these pictures over here. I didn't realise how fabulous they are. A lot of these are the uh, uh, Benitas, I've been told as well. The lovely mm. Benita who uh, we've had in the show uh, several times. I want to share with you a few of them, actually, if I may. Um, we lost Leanne's in a colouring coma there now, I aren't am. you, Leanne? That's it, you're gone. Let's just show you what you can build up to. I mean, because that really is it there in its purest, simplest form, really, isn't it, Leanne? What you just showed. Great starting point for people. But I just want people to be inspired as to some of the things that they can achieve. Because what we're talking about here is artist quality product you know and that's why we have renowned artists that use the spectrum noir range if you don't follow spectrum noir on instagram i would highly highly recommend that you do because the standard of some of the projects that are completed they're using these are amazing check out the detailing on that zebra um, i mean it is absolutely phenomenal it looks so so lifelike and actually though going back to what you just said i'm guessing the mane here leanne was achieved in exactly the same way that you've just colored that dog Thanks. Absolutely, just little flicks, Joe, exactly how it was done. And again, uh, if you want to do, do something like a parrot, as you can see here uh, as well, uh, it really is fantastic. I mean, that is just incredible, isn't it? Right the way through then, of course, uh, to a whole host of different faces. It can all be achieved uh, in here. Uh, Leanne's having a lovely time over there, I aren't am. you, Leanne? She's literally in a happy place. I'm um, in my very happy place. If you place. had your slippers on and a gin, I mean, this would be uh, you at home, wouldn't it? Honestly, if I had my fluffy well, pyjamas on. <gasps> it's nearly five o'clock. I mean, honestly, if I had my pyjamas on, Joe, and a gin and my slippers, it would I said be... what we should do is, last night, I came up with the idea that we do a 24-hour charity craft marathon. What do you think, Leanne? Oh, yes, that's a fun... I'm in. Yeah, Johnny's in. in. He says he'll produce all of it. Oh, my word. Charlotte said she'll do all, all of them. He'll, he'll <gasps> definitely do the overnight ones, he says, Johnny. Oh, my word. That would be fantastic. Please, let's do it. <gasps> Can you imagine? Can you imagine? It'd be great, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think so. We need to do it for charity. Charity? Yeah. Absolutely, we could. Um, Trish says he should be called Monty, the dog. Nelly says Nikki. Um, will, will Classic and Illustrator pens blend and work together? Great oh, question from Linda with a Y. Fantastic question, Linda with a Y. Absolutely, they will. It's the same ink in an Illustrator and in a Classic marker and in your tri-blend. You've got exactly the same ink, just different delivery methods for different effect. So if you want to use them together, 100% they will blend and work together and also your colours are exactly the same. So it's brilliant for extending the technique that you can use. So you see, I'm doing the same with the ear now, Joe. And when you're all fed up of watching this on Floofy, we can move I on to something gonna, else. Gonna, Johnny's going to move you on in a second. Um, but, you know, you can see I'm doing exactly the same thing. And I'm just picking a small part of Floofy's anatomy and then doing exactly what I did on the legs. Flicking in Perfect. the colour from top to bottom, moving it round, preserving my highlight in the centre, moving from the lightest colour to a darker colour. Um, and just, you know, flicking that colour. I mean, I can't so even make it more complex than it is. When you're thinking about, it is. When you think about depth then, Leanne, does every... 
Does every element that's at a different depth have its own? Do you treat those as individual parts when you colour it? Does that make sense? So if you do that, what happens is it doesn't look like a blocky piece of colouring. Okay. If you colour the whole thing, it will look flat because you won't get the light and shade in the correct places. Right, okay. So by colouring each piece separately, what that does is achieve that natural overlaying of the ears on top of the face, the legs are in front of the body, yep. the leg is in front of this part, the tail is behind his bottom. It creates that natural 3D depth for you by choosing one element at a time because you, you know you're dealing with it individually rather than just colouring it flat. And continue exactly as I've shown you there and then you will have a beautiful little floofy. Love for little floofy there. I think that's brilliant. Loads of questions coming in. Guys, I love it when you send us questions. What I also love is when you send us pictures of the things that you've been working on. Uh, please send us in. It could be anything you've coloured from any of our ranges. I'd love to see them. Two questions from Cynthia. I know, so, oh, Cynthia, two questions. Says, uh, will there be hint of colour refills for classics? And also, will there be a hint of colour range coming in the illustrators? That, both excellent questions. Um, we, we should absolutely have refills for our markers. If we bring the marker, we bring the refill. I need to check where we are with that. I'm not actually sure. I can't understand why we wouldn't if we haven't. And um, watch this space for question number two. Mm -hmm. There you go. I mean, I think that's a yes. I don't know the answer, but <laughs> it sounded promising, didn't it? Uh, right, should we uh, share with you again everything uh, that you'll get included in this big mega, uh, mega bundle? Am I right in uh, thinking, Johnny, that it's the most popular collection so far on the show? Let me take you through all the colours first again that you're getting, because I want you to understand what a great broad spectrum of, of colours are included uh, in here for you, which is awesome. So uh, you've got this one here, which is the Illustrator, which is fantastic. They're all called Illustrators, Joe. This is the Earth. It needs to say, I think we need to change it so it says the colour bigger than the actual name of the pen. Because I just keep saying they're all called illustrators. Oh, this, is, this one's illustrator as well. Uh, you've got the tones in there as well as the earth, which is fantastic. Now, you're also going to get in here the sketching, which is this one just here, which is fantastic. Uh, you've then got the landscapes in there. We're also going to include the seascape for you and you're going to get the figure as well. They are the 60 markers that you're getting included. Let me then take you through some of the stuff that you're going to get in there as well. So what you're also getting in here is your four ink pads, as you can see. You're getting the alcohol-proof dye uh, in all four colours there. So you're going to get it in the noir black, the pebble, the rustic brown, and also the flagstone for you there as well. What you're then also going to get is you're going to get the carry case to store everything in so the carry case is the 72 marker carry case that you've got in there which you're going to be able to store everything in which is brilliant which is this one just here then what you're going to get included as well is your rocker blocks. So you've got a set of rocker blocks here, uh, and you've got this set of rocker blocks down here as well. So you've got six. Ro oh, I'm really going to knock that over, aren't I? You've got six sets of rocker blocks in there. That's the stamping. What we've also got then is the stamping mat in here for you as well. Now, stamping mat is going to be great because it gives you that sort of resistance to stamp into to ensure you get that clean, clear, crisp stamp every time. You've also got the stamping platform in here as well. Then what you're going to get as well, if we move on even further, you're going to get in here the two packs of a stamping card. Now, you're not going to colour onto the stamping card. You're going to use the stamping card as um, you sort of for your card blanks and things such as that. Then what you're going to get are all the stamps in here as well. So you can see you've got the dog, the cat, the mouse, the hare, the sunflowers, the fox uh, in there as well. That is everything that you are getting. The, free, the, the items in there... Um, the items in there, all, all the extra bits, if you will, uh, total uh, £140 or 183, uh, sorry, £140 or $141. As a Platinum member, if you take off the cost of the extras, uh, then really you're paying about £20 for the 60 markers, which is absolutely unheard of. Now, I know a lot of you maybe have already got some of our uh, colouring mediums. Maybe you don't need 
all of the stamps. Maybe you've already got the ink pads. You've got all of those other bits because you're an experienced colorist. Then don't worry because we've got everyone taken care of in this show because there is a whole sliding scale of different size collections for you. Let's show you then the second largest option in the show. It's a 36 marker mark collection, which is brilliant value for money again. Uh, if we remove the cost, of the, the cost of the markers, the other items in here total £69 or $68. Now you're only paying £80 or $116 as a platinum member. So again, it's awesome value for money. Uh, you've got 36 markers in there for you, 50, £100 or $145. There is a smaller collection as well, a third one, which is kind of a bit of a try-me collection. One of the stamps, one of the ink pads, one of the uh, stamping card, and then five of the four pieces. So 20 marker collection, £40 as a platinum member or $60 as a platinum member if you want to get your hands on those ones. You can even go for the individual four packs as well. You'll find those over on the website. If you want to go for those individually, you are absolutely more than welcome. There really is something for every single price point in this show, which is wonderful. Uh, Zena says, I love my tri-blends for sitting and colouring at night. Small images for cards but the illustrators are out of this world in my opinion are professional quality coloring tools I think that's what we talk about a lot don't we is that they are professional Leanne they are artist grade they are something you can really achieve absolutely anything with absolutely they are it's just premium quality for a fraction of the price it's high grade premium artist quality but you've got that to use at home and colour with your beautiful images and also what it does is mean that it's very easy for you to achieve the results that I'm showing you here and I can guarantee that you will be able to achieve exactly the same because it's a very simple technique and then you can evolve that technique as you practice and get a little bit more confident. Fabulous. Awesome. Right. Well, keep getting your questions in, keep getting your pictures in to me as well. What would you like to uh, share with us next? Okay. I thought let's have a look at how to do this little flower because a lot of you do worry about um, getting flowers where it fades out into a white colour, where you want, where you're having to leave quite a bit more white than you feel comfortable with. So I thought let's have a look at that and it helps you understand how you get kind of a hybrid between a smooth blend and a flicked blend. So I've got my blender pen to start with and a blender pen is a clear ink. So blender pens do not blend but they do moisten cardstock and they do bleach out colour. So what I'm doing is just getting a little layer of that down so that I've got some um, wet areas on my cardstock to start flicking colour in. I then take a very light colour of the blue and exactly as I did with Floofy, I start at the base of the flower, flick out to the tip of the petal with those little flicks and I just do that on each of the petals. And I'll just work on maybe a third of the flower at a time. I won't work on the whole flower because what happens is your ink starts to dry. Because it's alcohol, it will start to evaporate. And when it evaporates, the alcohol, it leaves the dye behind. And that means the ink stops moving in the fibres of the cardstock and stops blending. So you need to move quite quickly and never colour a whole image at once. Always work on a small part of the image at a time. I did exactly the same with that darker colour. Started at the base, flicked out. Now I'll take my lighter colour, just flick a little bit further out into that petal, which you can see there with that light blue colour building up. Being brave and not worrying about the fact that I've got quite a bit of white around here because that's actually what we want to achieve to get that lovely fades to white colour on our floral. And if you want to, just at the end there, just to get a little bit more of a smoothness to those flicks, if that's the look you're going for, you just go over with your blender pen again and that is how easy it is. Now, could, seriously guys, tell me in the comments, could that be any easier. It's very simple, isn't it? But very, so very effective simple. when you've got great quality, you know, products to work with. Absolutely, Joe. The quality of the nib, the quality of the ink, the formulation, I mean, it does really significantly <laughs> help towards getting these brilliant results. And we just start, it's just, just, you just have a little chalk over there. <laughs> um, we're just filling the pen in again. So starting at the base, next to the centre of the floral, Flicking out with the exact same technique that I showed you with little floofy and flicking that out to the tip of the petal, preserving your highlight by leaving a white space at the end, taking your darker colour again from the base, flick out and it's just a couple because you only want a little bit of colour on here. I think that's the other thing as well sometimes, Joe, less is more. I think when we're colouring, when we first start, 
we feel we have to do like we did with our colouring books when we were kids and we have to fill everything in with colour. Um, when you do that, that's where things can start to look flat. Um, so you do have to try and force yourself to be brave and leave white areas for highlight and that is how you will build up uh, the realism and the dimension in the floral and so there we go that's that one and then if you want to smooth those out a final little tip with the blender pen just to smooth out the tips and there are the petals of the flower done and dusted joe as quick and as easy as that awesome now i don't know the answer to this uh, but i'm going to ask it anyway leanne mm -hmm. can you do the thing with this one where you touch the two um nibs together you know like dial back color and bleh what is it there's a special name for it isn't there yes absolutely i can't think of the name but me I know, neither i know what you mean uh, yes you can let me show you yellow illustrator pink illustrator touch the nibs the yellow nib picks up the pink color just checking it's got some there yellow nib picks up the pink color and I'll get a nice peachy ombre in the middle of my flower. So I'll have a much deeper yellow colour. And the yeah. longer you leave it, the more colour it picks up. <clears throat> much deeper yellow colour there at that side. And then I'll clean my nib. It's like, this is the thing, when you're touching your nibs, you've got to wait for it to pick up the ink. <laughs> Uh, for holiday says I love how this looks I love most white flowers in real life but never knew how to get that effect uh, and recreate that so thank you Leanne my pleasure um, now look can I just show you here as well yeah look on there can you see oh there? yeah can you see the two colors yellow two now tools? isn't it the red one this is the red one yeah so it's picked up all the yellow inks so you've got the peachy color so now I can go in with the peachy there the pink is no longer pink I've mixed the peachy orange and then I blend that out with the yellow. I've got that lovely transition there. Love and then that. you can see here. And then blending into two colours that wouldn't normally necessarily blend into each other. Yeah, absolutely. And then what you would do with this pink one now is just keep moving it until you've got all the yellow out. So there we go, look. I've awesome. cleaned my nib now. So I now I'm back so to the clever. original colour. It's fantastic. So clever, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. It's a really lovely effect. A really lovely effect. Um, and then there we've got that coloured flower and you don't I don't need to do both for you do I um, and then all I've done is matte and layer that matte and layer that up um, done a little bit of stenciling with a harmony water reactive and a little bit of a little bit of stamping in the background and that's how easy that is for you to do I mean it's just so quick and easy you've got beautiful cards that look really professional straight away it's absolutely gorgeous uh, yeah, it really is uh, fantastic and so much that you can do uh, with them and remember you don't have to You can start small with these and really can build up amazing that we can really think about bringing these to people as an entry level though You know, I think to think that you'd be able to afford to start with illustrators is absolutely amazing It really is we're gonna go through I want to just uh, share with you some of the birthday month stamps that we've got available Would these be um, good to draw with your illustrators Leanne? Yes Absolutely. Yes, they would. I mean, I've got a demonstration with that floral, actually. Oh, awesome. So, yeah, I've got that one. Mm -hmm. I think now, you're a February birthday? Mark, February birthday. I'm January. January. End of January. Middle. Oh, well, I messed that one up, didn't I? <laughs> uh, anyway, let's move on. Call yourself a, a friend. Got March there as well. <laughs> got that daisy. Oh, that daisy there, which is brilliant. Uh, you've then got May, which is the lily of the valley. That gorgeous rose in June, which is there. We then also have uh, the delphinium in July. We've got the gladiola, gladiolus. Gladiolus? Yeah, gladiolus, gladioli. isn't it? In at August. Is it gladioli or gladiolus? Gladioli. So, but it's got US on the end. So Are you, you sure? just say it gladioli. I don't no, know. Gladiola. You need to ask Mr. Chibs. It hasn't know. got a gladi. Eh? I need to. It's spelled. Time. It's spelled. I O L U S. Gladiolus. Um, that's um, that's a typo. Do you think it's one gladioli? So that's multiple gladioli is gladioli. It's gladioli. Oh. Gladiola. It's a gladiola flower. Oh, and then more than one is gladioli. Yeah. Oh, anyway, Asta, September. <laughs> That's a typo. Uh, 
<laughs> October, Marigold. Uh, November, Chrysanthemum. Don't ask me to spell that one. And of course, that gorgeous Christmas poinsettia in here as well. These are absolutely awesome. £160, $187 if you want to go for those. And I always think with those stamps, they're like a set stamp set that's just going to get you out of any kind of hole that you're in craft wise. Because look, whatever you're giving a craft for, if it's a wedding, if it's an anniversary, everything happens at some time. So you can absolutely give those brilliantly. Uh, Nancy is a uh, floofy. We're calling him floofy apparently. Uh, what did you call him, Johnny? He doesn't know. Hoofy, apparently. It's not. We can't say that. Uh, I, don't, I think that means. I think that means something else, Johnny. Uh, Nancy has drawn this anyway. I am sorry, Nancy. Forgive them. Uh, you can see here exactly what we've done. Leanne called it nibbles, which is a much safer word. Uh, also, Rosalind sent. Uh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? It's fantastic, Nancy. Brilliant progress with your flicking there. Rosalind sent this one in for us as well, which is uh, the rabbit just there, as you can see. Isn't that, isn't that gorgeous? I mean, brilliant. And that's gr good to show you how now we're progressing with our smooth blending with these markers. And then just by leaving a little bit more highlight in some areas, we get a lot more 3D dimension. That's a fantastic, fantastic start. Mm, love that. Susie sent these in as well. Love those flowers. Lovely. And we've got lots of lovely dimension on those petals. There's been lots of flicking going on there. Uh, the next one's Rosalind's done these with her tri-blends. Love the colours in that. Very nice. I do love the Mother Nature stamp. We are going to do her during the course of the next um, hour and however long we've got. Uh, but that is a very, very good start, Rosalind. Um, right. Uh, keep your pictures coming. I'd love to keep seeing them. Studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. Um, I want to just remind you uh, before we uh, move back to Leanne about the essentials as well. I'll show you a picture again of exactly what you're getting in there. £50 or $75. That's £40 or $60 as a Club Inspire Platinum member, which is brilliant. You save £35 here, which is awesome. Uh, well, it's almost a half price deal, isn't it, for Platinum members? Uh, you get tw you're getting 20 markers in there. I had to double check that then for that price. 20 markers, stamp, stamping card, and you're getting the ink pad in there as well. Awesome value for money, uh, that one is. Um, right, oh, see, shall I get some seahorse facts? Or should we just should we just gloss over it? I mean, honestly, the, the seahorse facts... Oh, the seahorse facts are fine. It's, it's where Liam went with them last time that got us in trouble. Well, it didn't get in trouble, but... It was it was fast. a harrowing experience to colour me. It wasn't. It was it was colour me sombre. It turned into, didn't it? In the end, it really. So did. I'll give you the seahorse facts, but then we'll just move on. We won't we'll get into the biology on. of any other animals. Okay? No, just facts. Brilliant. Because they right. are a fascinating animal. They are a fascinating animal. Do you and know we have um, lots of them uh, off the coast in the northeast? You know that population of seahorses have really recovered really? in the northeast in the last few years. Yeah, in the they are. Of um, England. In, not indigenous is the, the other the word that we have. You know there are colonies of them uh, off the off the uh, northeast coast. Yeah, the numbers are really thriving at the moment. They well, are. I, Call me David Attenborough. Well, colour me Happy Joe. Mm. I did not know that. And I do love a seahorse. I just think there's something ethereal and magical and otherworldly about them. I just think they're they're glorious. So I thought let's have a look um, and colour in. Let's do some smooth colouring because I know we had a couple of questions before there. If we're not wanting to do the flicking but we want to do some smooth colouring, how do we do that? So I thought let's let's have a look with this little seahorse. So this is the little guy we're going to be colouring and you can see I've got that beautiful smooth blend on there and um, easy, 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 easy to achieve. So we're going to start with two colours of this fabulous turquoisey colour and this is actually from, surprisingly, our Seascape collection. So I've got GT1 and GT3. So I'm starting with my lightest colour. Now as I dealt with each petal of a flower separately before and each piece of anatomy on Floofy before. I'm going to deal with each, I don't know what this is called, spinal section of the seahorse on its own. I think we're going to call him Sydney the seahorse. Sydney, yes, I know, but this looks like a spine. Because also Sydney, we, have, we haven't got to misgender him or her then, because no, it's a him Sydney and a her, an isn't it? It's a them so, they. Them they. I think we go around here, you see, and this looks like a spine to me. And then this is each section of the spine. So we're going to deal with each one separately. So we're just going to get a smooth blend. Now to smooth blend with your illustrator markers, you don't worry about flicking. All you do is smoothly stroke the ink onto your card. That's but it. still leaving a little highlight. Still always preserve your highlight at the end. Cool. It's the law. 
um, and then I'm taking the darker and now with the tip of my brush nib I'm just stroking in a little bit of the darker colour at the back end of the spine here and then just along that little bit so that's the darker and then I'm going to take my lighter colour come to the edge of that and just smooth smooth that out and that is as simple as that for a smooth blend you will get such beautiful results with smooth blending with these brush markers even though we're all usually intimidated by them when we're just starting out it's so much easier than working a bullet blend smooth blend jaw even though we're a little bit scared of them sometimes as new colorists you will get i promise you a much more positive and easy experience doing this um, than anything else fabulous it's just because they're a little more expensive because they are the premium marker than a you know than a classic or tri-blend but you get that brilliant brush nib in there however if you can invest in that as a as a beginner as a starter then you will get a more positive you'll get a brilliant experience do you know down what? there are a place for you know the entry level pens that we bring to people but i mean if in time you are serious about this and you think that you are probably going to be a person that's going to really get into this and upgrade over time probably more cost effective to start with these because you know you've got a pen that's going to do everything then you're not maybe buying pens that are going to become redundant at a later date well the analogy the only analogy i can give you is um i wanted a KitchenAid mixer for years I coveted a KitchenAid I really wanted one I remember um, and it was just out of my budget Joe and also I was you know just thinking well do I really need it would I would I use it um, and so I just got a I'll not tell you the brand but I got a cheaper one a much cheaper one it was 60 quid um, was it and, from the middle section yeah mm, thought so and um, and I just didn't have a, I was just disappointed. The whisker didn't be, hit the bottom. I was they just don't work. They don't work. I was having to put a spatula in and scrape the ingredients off the outside all the time. And I was just frustrated with it. And so I dove in and got the KitchenAid and never looked back. No. And just should have done that first. I would have saved myself 60 quid. Mm. And, I, and have a brilliant experience with it every time when I'm baking at home now. Absolutely. Um, and that's the only analogy I can think of for you. But... Um, there you go, that's liken, likening it to a mixer, but not quite. But look how beautiful that dimension is smooth. Look at the blend on there. I mean, incredible. And I'm just stroking this colour on, Joe. You really do not need to be experienced or accomplished or have done lots of alcohol colouring before to be able to achieve this yourself at home. Just work on a few little small areas at a time and follow that little rule I've given you for putting on the light colour stroking in some of this darker colour and I'm just stroking it on that's the best example I can give so it's not flicking stroking and then the edge of that colour drag it out always preserving your highlight at the end um, and we can come back and deal with that in a second oh I'm loving this now I'm definitely in a colouring coma because I'm having a really nice time with this job. I guess with something like a single I mean you, I love that you have done this in in one sort of colour set really early on because I think it shows you what you could achieve from just using you know one or two pens but imagine making this tropical imagine bringing in a vast range of different colors but if you did want to start small this would be something like this would be great wouldn't it oh yes absolutely and i think you're right actually i hadn't even thought of that it does show you how if you're just getting a small collection you've only got a couple of markers how you know how you can still color something very beautiful um by using them in this way and absolutely phenomenal very easy to achieve the blend because I'm just stroking the colour on. I'm not doing anything magical or anything clever. I'm just applying the colour in the same way to every single little section. Brilliant. Uh, Sarah Sanders is letting me know that she's gone for the whole bundle. She just couldn't resist. She's wanted illustrator pens for a while now. This is a good starting point. I'm going to put my neck on the line and say this is the best illustrator deal I've seen since I've been here at Crafters TV, which is over a year now, Leanne. Uh, I mean, it's not the kind of... This isn't the kind of deal that we repeat week in, week out, this, is it? Oh, no, it's once in a special blue Absolutely. moon. Absolutely. Um, and, uh, you know, I must admit, because I haven't done a Colour Me Happy for a while, we did have a little conversation about, come on, guys, sharpen your pencil. Um, let's get some good offers for people there while... Uh while, we're, while we've got that so sort of like call me the happy Delia De Smith of uh, Crafter's Companion there. Yeah. Let's be having you. <laughs> yeah, come on. And um, and then you know so they, they came they came up trumps Joe Absolutely like you know if I'm did. coming to do a colour me happy with Illustrator the guys need to be able to get a really good deal um, while they can so 
you know, you can't, if you can't be head of product development, put your foot down every now and again, Joe. It's a bad job, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and remember, you know, if you love this, do you know what? Maybe you love this show, but you're thinking, do you know what? Uh, it's not really my... Um, you know, maybe pens aren't your bag. Maybe you want a colour, but you want you think you might, maybe more ink pads is your bag. Next week's Colour Me Happy, just to give you a heads up, is myself and Sarah with an ink pad Colour Me Happy special as well. And you know what? I think what you've got to do is you've got to evaluate all the different ranges we bring you, haven't you, Leanne? And understand or, you know, have a look at what range works best for you uh, at the end of the day. Because we do do something for everything, really. But I think if you want range, if you want something that is top, top notch, this, this is that. Absolutely, 100%. And that's why we have all of our different marker collections for you, because, you know, we want to be able to have it accessible and achievable for everybody, for you to be able to choose what it is you want to invest in, what it is you're going to use them for, the type of results you want to achieve, and then give you the ability to be able to um, access that yourselves at home. So there we go. I mean, I think you would agree he's starting to look pretty blooming and lovely isn't he um, and then i'm just going to give him a nice deep blue eye and having the tiny little bullet nibs at this point is brilliant because i can get into that small detail give him a lovely little dark eye there and he's starting to look great now if i want to soften this edge out here i can use my blender pen and just stroke it around and oh, then that, I love just that gives that little smooth and edge but preserves your highlight and then I'll show you the difference to the finished card that I did. And, you know, you can choose. It's up to you. If you don't have your blender pen to hand, you can do as I did on the finished card. And you can take the colour all the way up to the end. Yeah. But I actually believe, and, I, and I've done this on purpose to show you, I believe this looks more 3D and dimensional by mm. leaving that white at the edge. Yeah, I agree as well. Really, really awesome. Be A brave. A beautiful result. Be brave. Keep the white. Preserve your highlight. If you do yep. nothing else with the alcohol colouring, do that, and that's what you can achieve. A Sherry's asking if the seahorse is a stamp or a download. I'm not sure, Leanne, are you? It, I'm sure this was a stamp. Stamp? Yes, it was a mm. stamp, yes. It's not on this show, is it? Oh, uh, I don't no. know. It'll don't be on the so. website. It'll uh, be on the website for sure. Yeah, absolutely, it will. Uh, what I wanted to do is, uh, I'm going to go back through all the options in a moment. I know a lot of you are no doubt uh, enthralled by the first hour of the show and waiting for an opportunity to check out your basket. So I'm going to give you that. Uh, we've talked a lot in this show about discounts and how awesome and deep the discounts are uh, across the whole show. Remember, you're able to then to double discount and use your Club Inspire discount on top of that too. If you're new to us, you're not familiar with Club Inspire, here's Sarah to take you through all the details. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to Silver Membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a Gold Member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order, and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery carrier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly Digimag direct into your inbox, giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. All the details there of Club Inspire, which is just an awesome way for you to save even more money from all of your crafty purchases 
uh, that you buy with us here in show at Crafts TV, but of course, of course, the whole of the wider Crafts companion business and in store as well. You know, once our store's open again, obviously at the moment things uh, in the UK means that all essential retail is closed. Uh, but once the store's open, absolutely, you can accumulate your points there, and uh, you can, of course, um, use your discounts there as well, which is fantastic. Uh, I want to just qu I'll just very quickly go back through uh, the details of the different bundles that are on the show. I'll run back down what's in the mega bundle. Uh, remember, you're getting six. 60 markers in here it's very very busy on this big mega bundle let me take you down through what you're getting so you're getting the ink pads in here which is fantastic four of those uh, the uh, the finesse alcohol proof ink pads four of those in here you're also getting 60 of the markers which is absolutely brilliant you're going to get all of those there you're also then getting the storage as well which is this element just here so you've got your storage in there what you're then getting is you're then going to get as well your rocker blocks. So this is a storage at the top just here, uh, and then you've got your rocker blocks here, uh, just there. Next, you've also got in here as well your stamping platform, which is fantastic. Uh, you've then got in here as well your uh, six by six stamping platform. You've got two packs of the stamping card, which are, is up there, and then you've got all of those uh, items there as well. We were struggling to get it in the shot. There is so much stuff uh, there in that uh, bundle for you. That's what you're getting. It represents the best value. The extra bits, which are not the markers, are a total £140 or $141. Platinum members get the whole thing for $160. So really, as a Platinum member in the UK, when you buy all the extra bits, we're allowing you to get the markers for quite, a, well, a ridiculous really, £20, which is completely unheard of. However you look at it, it is a great value. It's a brilliant, it's a whole, it's a whole hobby in a box really. As soon as this comes back to you, you've got everything that you need there to get started. And amazing that what we are able to do is make illustrators affordable for you, even if it's your entry level. If it's your first alcohol marker, I mean, normally this is something you'd maybe build up to over a course of a couple of years. But when the deals are this awesome, you can dive right in and get it. 160 pounds at $220 as a platinum member, which is fantastic. There are some other smaller ones, uh, smaller collections for you in the show as well. If you would prefer those, £100 or $145. If that's kind of roughly your budget, don't worry because you can still get 36 of these incredible markers. You'll get some of the stamping card, you'll get the rocker blocks, the ink pad and the stamps. And again, uh, I mean, you're good to go pretty much with that collection as well if you wanted to go for that one. A great saving there for you, £80 as a Club Inspired Platinum member or $116. We do have a smaller collection for you as well if you wanted to just go for 20 of the markers. Uh, you've got an ink pad, a stamp and the stamping card in there as well, which is brilliant. So uh, it's completely up to you, even down to the individual four packs. These are all available for you as well individually over on the website, craftscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu if you want to go over there. What I would also say is do go over there, have a look on the website, go and have a look at the independently uh, verified five star reviews across all of our products. If you're unsure, maybe you're across on Facebook or, cra or on the Crafts Companion YouTube channel, pop into the comments. If you've got anything that you're concerned about, doesn't need to be a question for us. There'll be so many people on Facebook and YouTube that already own these products at the moment. Find out what other crafters just like you were saying about our products in the comments or across on our website. And that is the joy of shopping with us here. Uh, you can really, in real time, understand what everyone thinks uh, about these. I mean, and overwhelmingly, all of the things we hear about them is superbly positive because they are the top of the tree. They are the creme de la creme. They're the Rolls Royce, aren't they, Leanne, of what we bring you when it comes to our alcohol markers. Absolutely they are. They're at the top of our colouring tree. Um, but just because they're at the top of our colouring tree in terms of performance and quality doesn't mean that they're inaccessible and not easy for you to use. So let's have a look. I think we're going to have a look at how to do this now because I think he is, this little dragon from Lee Holland, is absolutely glorious. Favourite image um, of cute launches I think in 2020. I absolutely love them. Um, and we're going to have a look at some palette blending which is a little bit similar to the tip to tip Ooh, that we I were looking this. at. Yeah, really a little like bit of technique. palette blending. So we're going to get in, we're going to get the nice yellows. I'm using the sketching set out of that bundle now, Joe. So I'm taking my pinks out and my yellows and my greens. And then we're going to colour him in. Now I'm starting at the bottom, at his bottom, and I'm going to add a little bit of my first colour of the darker green. Now what I'm doing is a little bit different with this palette blending 
because I'm, as you can see, starting with the darkest colour, which is unusual. I'm usually telling you to start with the lightest and build up your colours. That's because I need to do some transitioning between one colour and the next, and that will become obvious to you in a sec. So then I'm taking the next lighter colour of green and I'm just taking that edge and blending that up into the body of the little of the little dragon. Definitely here. feeling at home, Leanne. I've kicked the shoes off. Uh, Me too. Now I'm settled in. Kick yeah. my shoes off. I've got them on. Have you on your squidgy mat? Yeah. Oh, isn't it well, great? Well, I can't get on your squidgy mat because I'm on my step. Can't you put your squidgy mat on your step? Step. Well, I don't. I think I don't know whether I might fall. I need a piece of mat cutting to the size of my step. Oh, uh, add. Uh, no, he's gone home. I mean, it's the only time all week that he's not been. He's already. He's always here, isn't he, Lord Adam? Uh, but he's he's gone today. He's not here. Mm. So I we might send him another email, but you know, Adam, he looks after me, he plays my favourite songs to get me in the mood, um, and he just looks after us in general, so I'm sure he'll get me a little what's, bit of my What step. songs get you in the mood, Leanne? Um, so he always plays me a little bit of Billy Ocean. Does he? Yeah, he Red does. light means danger, no doubt. Red light spells oh, danger. Oh, out onto the studio floor for you? Yeah. Oh, fabulous. He does, yeah, because, yeah. you know, he looks after me. Which I, think, which I think is lovely. So now what I'm going to do is... Charlotte's taking notes, she's shook. <laughs> I'm colouring the green onto my mat and I'm colouring the yellow onto my mat because this will allow me to pick these colours up. Um, so there's the green and then with the yellow marker I'm going to pick up some of that green and what that will do is give me an ombre between the green and the yellow. <gasps> Love it. And you can do the tip to tip again as well if you want to. So let's just have a look at that. Loads of you still chatting away. I'd love for you to get your questions in. Anything you want to know. Uh, we've still got just over 45 minutes left on the show. So loads of time uh, to find out. Maybe there's techniques that you are thinking about doing with these pens that you're unsure they would do. Let, me, let us know and we will, uh, we'll do our best to get those questions answered for you. I do love that yellow into the green. I think it's awesome. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? And now I've got, I've now got my green pen into my yellow and I'm just smoothing that blend out between the two. So you just mix the colours as you go along and then what that does is ombre between the two. I always go and clean my nib on this little bit of scrap as I go along. So um, yellow pen and scribble down the green again. Squeak, 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 squeak. Scribble down the green. Pick the green up. And then that ombre is out from the green into a yellow. Isn't that lovely? Brilliant. Really does work well. And then we're going to do um, just plain yellow from the little hand here all the way down. And I love the fact that it sometimes has little bits of the green left. So it really does look like the colours are ombre ombreing in. Um, and then I'm going to take a little bit of my lighter yellow here and just bring that round. And then do exactly the same on um, his little feet. So I'm going to touch a little bit of the yellow at the top there and then pick up a little bit of the green, bring that around. I'm picking the green up off my mat. Oh, you can't see. Hang on. Let me scribble the green here for you so you can see. There. And you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, welcome. There we go. So I've got the green there and then I'll pick up the green with the tip of my yellow and then just bring that around the top of the hand there and what that does is give a little bit of a suggestion of the green into yellow but it doesn't make it fully green does that make yeah. sense and so it just looks like you've got all of that skin color flowing around with that very easy and you can see the green on the tip of my marker there and then I just apply that and I get that lovely kind of citrusy blend between the two and I'm able to do it on his little feet too and then always clean your nib off before you pop the cap back on now, for his head, I'm going to do it in the opposite direction. So I'm going to start with a little bit of the green. And I'm going to do that underneath the petal here. And this is how easy palette blending is. It's simply picking up one colour, like with a paintbrush, picking up one colour onto another nib and then brushing it down. And it just you know effortlessly creates that little ombre for you. So with that green, now I'm going to pick up the yellow. Great question from Kylie. Kylie says, does it matter what type of paper you have underneath the paper you're colouring on? Can you use stamping card or printer paper or should the blotting paper also be the same paper you're colouring with, in this case the Nina? Uh, it doesn't matter the colour. 
Bot okay. Your blotting paper could be anything. Can be anything. Awesome. Could be some brown craft card. Could be. Great um, question. Any, anything doesn't matter. I'm just going to go with a brighter green here. I want to pick up a brighter green, so I'm just bringing that in, hoping you might be able to see it on the mat a little bit. You no, know, it's quite transparent that colour. But anyway, you'll see it when I do it. Pick that up with the yellow. Pick up the green, and then come back over the top and colour down, and then it will change from green back into the yellow. So you get that lovely look at that. And it just makes it so smooth and effortless. Honestly, Jo, it's, it's incredible. It, it never ceases to amaze me. I absolutely love doing this because I always just feel like it looks, it looks immense. It's, really, it It's does. incredible, isn't it? Really, really awesome. Uh, uh, yeah, I can't describe it because it doesn't give it dimension, does it? But what does it give it? I don't know. Uh, it's, it's hard to describe, isn't it? It is hard to describe. It's, uh, well, it gives that, it tone, I guess, is what is the best way to describe it, isn't it? That is a very, very good way of describing it, giving a tone. Um, and what I'm doing here with the dark yellow is just giving some more dimension to the size of his nose there for the yellow. And then I'm going to do the same for his little cheeks up here. I'm just taking my darker yellow. And you see, just by tipping that in and even over that green area, it adds in just a little bit more depth and dimension. That you've got there i mean it already just starts to bring him to life do the same at the bottom of his arm here with the deeper yellow down the side of his tummy around the little leg there all of those colors blend into one and that's how you palette blend two different colors together to get that really a beautiful look that you can see there and you just continue on with that with all of your different colors you know and depending on uh, what you want to build up yeah i think it's absolutely fantastic what a really really awesome uh technique uh, that you could do there uh, and I guess you could do that onto animals you could do that with a whole host of different things it's completely up to you uh, how you want to use these but it all starts with you getting them uh, at the end of the day uh, and also getting them of the, I would always suggest getting something whilst it is at the best possible deal if you are have been looking for a big bundle of these it is like the collection to end all collections this there is so much in here it's a complete hobby in a box which is fantastic i mean if maybe you do know someone maybe you know someone in your life that would love this collection uh leanne you know giving it as a gift can you imagine maybe someone that is yet to start their coloring journey you would be able to give them this send them links to all of the master classes and the color me happy shows that are available of course on our website and it's a whole it's basically a, an education in a box isn't it you've got everything you need to get going it truly is now what i'm just showing you here joe and, and, and i love that i really do love that idea um, and it's why when we have those these kits together um, and we have them at that really good price it's absolutely the time to do it what I'm just showing you here is very quickly before we move on to anything else is just how by layering two entirely different colors of these markers together the quality of the ink and the brush nib has allowed me to take the petals of this daisy from pink through peach into yellow now you wouldn't expect to be able to do that um, unless you were watercolouring but the quality of the ink in our illustrator marker and you see I'm just doing kind of the smooth blend flick into that yellow I'm layering it over the top you can see it's starting to move to peach there now and then as I turn that round and I come back down over the top in the center letting them join and overlap each other it smooths out the blend and it creates the transition from that beautiful pink all the way through into the yellow um, so that is another way that you can build up the change in the dimension oh, it, looks like a, it looks well like a lovely ice lolly i want to eat that fla that uh, flower it's pretty isn't it and that's exactly how i did this so um very very easy to do we just did the tummy in a pretty pink and then stenciled some clouds in the background you've got a beautiful little composition i've got a little bit more yellow on this dragon because i wanted to a little bit more green on this one your dragon you choose it's entirely up to you Mm, absolutely getting very very busy uh, on this collection right now uh, it really is great value for money 200 pounds or 275 dollars as a club inspired platinum member uh, you are looking at here uh, 160 pounds or a hundred or 220 dollars uh, there is your price 
uh, which is fantastic. So do make sure uh, you get hold of these uh, whilst they are on this fantastic deal. To give you an idea of how long deals last as well, as a general rule, around about 48 hours after the show is aired, you'll be able to get the deal for. So you've absolutely got, uh, I think stock-wise, we're not in a worry about this uh, selling out. We've got a really, really deep stock. I don't want you to uh, have to think that you make, need to make your decision right now. What you do need to do is make your decision um, in the next 48 hours, because if you came back, where are we now, Friday, these deals will probably last up until the end of Sunday, even the beginning of Monday, just because, <laughs> just, do you know why, Leanne? Why? There's no one here to turn the deals off at the weekend. So, uh, <laughs> just saying, you know, if it's meant to end on a Saturday, plot twist, it'll be available till Monday. Uh, but if you came back Monday evening after work, for instance, and said, you want to come back and get this, as a platinum member today, you're gonna to spend 160 pounds on this. Uh, the full price, though, well, two, say 200 pounds is what you're gonna be paying. It would be uh, 266. Uh, 77 if you wanted to come back and get it uh, at a regular price. $367 is what you would, of course, pay. Today, as a platinum member, you get it for £160 or $220, which is absolutely awesome value for money. Um, especially when you consider just the 12 packs of pens in the collection are worth £100 are on their own if you bought them at the full price. Let me go back through everything that you are getting in this collection. I want you to see absolutely everything here. So uh, what you're going to get, let me do the colour charts actually for you first. Let's do those and then we'll go back through uh, the rest of the collection. So uh, what you've got here, are, these are your 12 pieces that you've got. So you've got the sketching, you've also got the landscape, you're going to get all of the seascape colours, and you're going to get the figure colours. You're also going to get the earth colours in here as well. And you're going to get, there's only one that I don't have a swatch for, and it's these ones just here, which are the tones. In the tones, you get the smoky blue, the old china, right, me old china? Wisteria, dusty purple, pink lace, and also the vintage pink as well. So that's what you're getting in there. They are the 60 markers, and 60 markers is a fantastic starting point for you. What you're also then going to get is you are going to get the four ink pads in here as well, which are absolutely lovely. You've got those, all of the pens as I showed you uh, a minute ago. You're also going to get the carry case in here, which is fantastic. 72 markers this can hold, so you've definitely got room for all of these illustrators in there. You're then going to be looking at getting the rocker blocks. Now, the rocker blocks are brilliant. These are going to allow you to get that lovely, clean, clear, crisp stamp when you use it in conjunction with the stamping mat, which is awesome. And then what you're going to get all the way down here is you're going to get two lots of the stamping card. Now, you're not going to colour up onto this stamping card. You're definitely going to use this as the card blanks to mount up those coloured projects onto. And then you've got all your stamps as well. So you've got pause for thought, I think Field Mice, Meadow Hair, you've got Fabulous Fox, Fresh Florals, and you've got Catitude in there as well. They are the stamps that you are getting. Um, so, uh, Susan uh, says, always learn new techniques. Uh, here every time I watch these shows. Uh, Carolan's just opened the sub box, the new subs box. There's a lot of love for the new packaging uh, of the subscription box, Leanne. I know that's something you and your team have been working on for a long time, that isn't it? happy to hear that that's really good news is, is it the little packets that you like with everything yeah, the gorgeous in, the little packets. Packet. they're like a series of mini presents it is, Carol Ann says it is that's exactly what we wanted to achieve it's like opening up a big advent calendar or a box of birthday presents then you open each little one up and reveal it it's exactly what we wanted to do for you um, I'm pleased that you love it actually uh, yeah, that is in there for you, which is awesome. Terry says, even though we watch uh, her, her colour these, it's always amazing to see Leanne's finished projects. I definitely have a lot of practising to do, but you can practise. I think the thing is with colouring as well, it's something that you can just sit down and do, Leanne. It's not costly, is it? Once you've invested in the actual pens themselves, how much does the paper cost you? I mean, it's pennies. You can sit down, stamp something out. You know, you can stamp it out 20 times. Even if you put it, stamp it out 10 times on one sheet of card, and you can just sit and practice, and that is a joy of it. I think with colouring, once you've made that initial investment, you're not, it's not like something you're having to then invest again and again and again in. I mean, it's so hard. It's a how long is a piece of string situation, Leanne. But for the average user of these pens, can we quantify how long they might last? Mm. How many thousands of projects you might do? A sort of a, a bundle of around this size. Mm. I mean, it is a difficult question to answer because it does depend on how much you are colouring. But if I can give you an example, so you, as you can imagine, I colour a lot, and I am still using without refilling my first set of Illustrator markers. Wow! So, I, and I've had them for around eighteen months, and I colour pretty regular. So that gives you an idea 
Um, but it does depend on the size of the image, whether you're doing a, you know, a wall art or a small card topper, whether you're colouring 500 card toppers or 20 card toppers a week. It will very much depend on how much you use them. But there is a good amount of ink in here. We do not skimp on that. And it will last you, you know, a good amount of time or it will cover a good amount of space before you need to do it again. Whatever your space is, be it a piece of wall art or card, or, or card toppers. Awesome. I hope that uh, gives you some idea. Uh, now, let's move on to the Lee Holland stuff. Now, Lee Holland is a renowned illustrator uh, from London. Uh, I believe I'm right in saying, Leanne, is it only us that have the uh, privilege of uh, retailing physical stamps of Lee's? Yes, absolutely. Uh, Lee's stamps are um, currently available digitally, but um, we work with them exclusively to bring actual physical images for you to stamp and colour. Uh, you've got six sets in here, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, very, very busy. Quarter stock has gone. I love them because they are so much fun. What I think is brilliant, again, that they're a great size. If you want to just do something quickly, you know, stamp a load out and get them coloured up fairly quickly. If you're a batch making, then absolutely these are great to enable you to do that. $35.95 or $44.77 is your price there on those ones. Right, uh, lots of you still chatting away with me. Um, oh, we've got some birthdays in uh, today. Kathy C is her birthday. It's also Marilyn Pico's birthday. <gasps> Happy birthday, guys. I'd love to know what you're up to. Is there cake? There should always be cake. Always. Whatever the question is, the answer is always cake. Nothing, there's nothing that can't be improved by cake, I don't think. We got on a right old cake train this morning, didn't we, in our craft folk show, Leanne? We did. Um, we discussed everything from Babka to Bagnettes in the earlier show. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a memoir, doesn't it, from it Babka does. to Bagnettes? Do, do you know what uh, I'm trying this weekend, Joe? Sorry? Do you know what I'm trying this weekend? I don't know what you're trying this weekend. Um, this weekend, I am trying to make my own croissant. Oh, now that, I wouldn't, I, I mean, I like to think of myself as a good cook, but Leanne, I just, it's hard, you know, it's, it's, it's like a two day process, isn't it? It is. It's a lot. It's a lot. I expect to see pictures. Even if they fail misery, I'd like to see pictures. Okay. I don't think they will fail, obviously. Well, they might. But you know, if you do, if at first you don't succeed, try, try a grain, as my granddad Taylor used to yeah. always say to me. So you know, I am going to try. Um, the I would love to make croissants, but I do think that I might buy the frozen pastry dough from the supermarket and then roll it out into the triangles uh, and then just roll it up. But they are absolutely delicious. Um, oh, if you do nail it. Well, I can't, I'm not having carbs. I mean, I can't, I mean, just If I do thought. nail it, the minute that you're having carbs again, I will make you a batch. Fabulous. Right, I fully expect that. Do you know what you should do as well? Make four times the amount you need, and once you've done process one, freeze it all, apparently. Really? You know, it's a two-step process. Yes. Where you have to make the dough, and then you leave it to rest overnight, and then you roll it the next day. Yes. Well, if you do four times the amount you need at step one, then you freeze it, and then all you have to do is do the second day step, oh. step two. It freezes beautifully, freeze it, and then you've got pastry, uh, croissant pastry dough ready to go whenever you need it. There's oh. a top tip. Oh, oh, I'm going to definitely do that, yeah. Joe. Mm. And then you don't have to wait two days for a croissant. <laughs> no. Um, right. And I'll tell you what I'm having tonight. Oh, what are you having tonight? Um, tonight I'm having some blueberry ice cream, oh. ice cream with blueberry gin liqueur poured over oh. and I've, made, I've made it myself it's in the fridge it's in the fridge curing right now right. Uh, but the ice cream it's a low calorie one because i'm making the, it, it's bananas frozen oh yeah have you got have you got you got a, like a food processor you whiz it all yeah. up in yeah. yeah it's very good yeah i haven't tried it before mm. i'm gonna try that tonight Oh, I'm so hungry. Right, uh, I know we've still got loads that we want to uh, share with you. Um, right, um, do uh, make sure you get your orders in. It's getting busier and busier and busier as we go through the show. Uh, what would you like to share with us next, Leanne? Everybody's favorite, Mother Nature. Oh, because yes. Because you always want to do the skin and so many of you on my Facebook page, thank you so much for sharing um your thoughts and your ideas about what you wanted to see and what you found difficult and what you wanted me to show you so i'm going to show you the skin but we're also going to take some time for me to show you how to do her hair so that you can get this lovely light and shade and movement in her hair if, and, if you want it individually it's there details on the screen uh, 499 and a loads of people always ask about that Leanne. Uh, okay that's a good idea then um, and then i'm going to show you how to do the hair so you get that lovely movement in her hair the light and shade and you'll be surprised how like floofy that is for you to do so i'm going to start with my lightest color and i've got my brush tip so i'm just going to brush that on um, and I'll just turn this round. Now what we do is we work on the perimeter of the face and that's because this is where the darker areas would be. 
where um, her hair is falling over her face and the shadow is falling over her face. So always go on the perimeter of the face. Now, I've talked to you about this before, but when you look at a face, and actually for a couple of seconds, I, sorry, but if we look at mine, <laughs> then um, everybody look at me. <laughs> if we look at mine, the thing that's further forward on your face is your nose. So the light hits that first. So this is going to be the lightest part of your face. And then if you think about as it goes back, your nose is going to be really light. You're going to have shadow in here. Your cheeks are going to get the next little bit of light. So very light, lighter, um, very light, not quite as light, darker, back to your face. That's how you build up the 3D dimension. Darker under your chin because you've got shadow from where your chins are and how many you've got if you're me. <laughs> um, and then how much your hair falls over your face. So this has got to be the lightest area. So when we're colouring her in, then that is the last thing we colour. We preserve the highlight so we can keep the shine on the front of her face. Um, I just thought it would be nice to go through that because we don't often get time to go through those things, do we, Jo? No, not at all. It's lovely to... Now, uh, under her up. nose, as I've just explained, would be darker because the shadow. So we fill in the colour under her nose and around her hairline, either side of her finger because she'll be casting a shadow where her finger is. How much pressure are you putting on here, Leanne? No pressure at all. I'm barely touching the paper. Okay. It's just a very light... You can see the brush tip isn't really bending. Look at the state, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to show you on a scrap piece here. I can, because, oh, <laughs> I can really bend that brush. Right, oh wow, it's okay. flexible. Without damaging it? It's, without damaging it, it's very flexible. But when you see again what I'm doing here, you can see there's no bend in the brush. So I'm hardly touching and the colour is applying beautifully. Okay, so around the perimeter of her face. Then we take the next colour, the darkest colour, and we go around that again because dry, uh, wet ink blends much easier than wet paper. So I'm just going to stroke that around here and I'm following those rules of shadow for you again, as you can see. And then I'm going to take this first colour that we laid on and now I'm going to bring that out into my preserved highlight in her face. Just gently stroking, getting the blending to happen, preserving my highlight as I go around, bringing that in, get a lovely dimensional face building up, leaving the nose to last, you can see. So just getting the blend by stroking the ends, building the colour up, and then finally the nose, which stays lighter. And then I can add a little bit more of the depth round there if I want to just by dabbing in with my brush because my wing, my ink is wet um, then that just blends for me as I do that and I'm able to build that up there and already we're getting that beautiful smooth look on her face. Now what you can do if you want if you've got your blender pen and you want to smooth some of this ink without adding any more colour you can just take a little sweep of the blender pen over the top and what that does is get all of the ink moving together. You've got the shadows in the right place and you get that lovely dimensional face. Just checking I've got my right colour here. Yes, I do. So fill this in because there would be more shade there. And just do small areas, more small areas at a time because you're looking at it and seeing where you would have natural light and shade. Um, and you can see that when we look at it top down, how beautiful she looks with that light and shade in her face. Beautiful. She's already becoming very dimensional and you can see where that is. Now we're going to put a little bit of blush on her. I uh, hope you want to know what colours you're using there on the face. Which two? Which two colours was that? I've used on there FS7 and TN1. FS7 TN1. Correct. Awesome. Uh, Fox, Fox, Shannon's got yeah. a question as well. Yeah. Um, Shannon says, can you mix the colours when you're colouring? I have illustrator markers in skin tones and aqua in na nature colours. Could I, uh, for instance, colour a person's skin in illustrator and then their outfit with an aqua marker? Yes. Is, so you would need to do that on... There is, a, there is some things you're going to need to be aware of because what you never want to do is to use your illustrator markers on a watercolour cardstock. It is incredibly porous, it is incredibly open and it is designed to soak up fluid. That's what watercolour cardstock should do for you. You don't want to do that with your alcohol markers because it's just going to suck all the ink out of your pen, you're going to waste it. 
So um, what you would do is still stamp and colour onto Nina. What you wouldn't be able to do is put your aqua marker straight onto the Nina and drag the colour out because the Nina is formulated for alcohol marker so the colour will grab and not move. But you can palette blend with it. So if you put your aqua marker on a glass mat, pick it up with a brush and then paint it on the Nina, you can do it that way. Awesome. I have that answer question. Uh, some requests uh, are talking about darker skin tones as well, uh, Asian skin tones, Afro-Caribbean skin tones as well. Leanne, is, are the principles the same? Principles exactly the same, just vary the colour. And okay. if you go onto my web, onto my Facebook page, the images that Joe is just about to show you um, of some different skin tones. If you go onto my Facebook page and you scroll back a few posts, so just go onto my Facebook page, click on photos, you will find these. And what you will find is these plus a list of all of the colours I've used. So you will see. Um, brilliant you know they're all the combinations put together as you can see here for these different skin and hair tones colors already worked out for you they're on my facebook page please go and help yourself awesome free to access helps. and the brilliant. principle for applying the color exactly the same no different yeah. exactly the same brilliant now we're going to add a little bit of blush we're going to add a little bit of sculpting now um, and what you definitely don't want is a cup of tea and a piece of cake we don't want Anne sally so by that I mean we don't want circles for cheeks right. because you don't have a circle for a cheek in real life. We want to sculpt a triangle. So your brush tip is perfect for this because what we do is we start at the cheek and then we gently just bring that out into Are a triangle. Are you contouring her? Contouring, yeah. Yes. I wish I could do it for myself as well as I can do it for her, I have to say. So I'm doing it there and then I'm doing a little bit of the other side, same colour. And then what I do is I take the lightest colour that I used for her face and I do that again over the top. And what that does is magically change that into a lovely piece mm. of sculpted blush um, and softens the brighter colour that I put on there out brilliantly. And if you want to soften it a little bit more, you can always take your blender pen and just give it a little mooch over. And then she has got that beautiful sculpted blush line on her face very quickly and easily. Really, really awesome. Love that. Uh, such a great way of working. And I think what we're hopefully showing as we go through this show is just how uh, incredibly versatile these are. You know, I don't think of these just about fur and texture. Yes, they're great for that, but they are great for so many uh, different things as well. It is getting really, really busy across all the collections. Uh, it's it's at the busiest point of the hour right now. Lots of you uh, getting this into your basket. A lot of you getting checked out as well. Uh, in a few minutes, I'll run you through again all the different options uh, that you've got in here. What I would say is that the 60 marker mega bundle is far and away the best value on the show. If you want to get a whole collection, uh, you know, a, as I call it, a hobby in a box that is exactly what you have got um so definitely this is the most awesome bundle as we said earlier it doesn't come around that early 60 markers in there however the other elements that are in there are worth 140 pounds or 141 dollars the elements that are not markers we were talking earlier about going out and buying uh, other brands of pens, uh, what brand leaders are. Something like a Copic Sketch, you'd easily pay four to six pounds per marker for. Uh, Pro markers are gonna be anywhere around the sort of three to five pounds uh, per marker. So it's awesome value for money that we bring you. I think sometimes you might look at the Spectrum Noir products that we bring you and think, well, are they as good quality as those other uh, pens that are out there on the market? And absolutely they are. And the reason we can bring them to you at these kind of prices is that we develop them uh, we manufacture all of these ideas as well and then we retail them to you as well so as whereas you know other brands let's say you know like I don't know uh, any of the big brands that are out there big stationary brands uh, Leanne there's so many middlemen isn't there along the way whereas what we're doing is we are conceiving the idea manufacturing it taking it straight to you and you then get a great saving which is also awesome. we want you to get the best quality products at the best pricing absolutely Joe it's exactly what we're doing and you know I can tell you because I've walked all of the trade shows in, um, in, in other countries where there are lots of pen manufacturers and you can literally go along as a person who wants to develop a pen range and say, I'll have that pen, put my name on it, thank you very much. Um, and that is it. You just take the pen that they're giving you, put your name on it. We do not do that. We absolutely, um, from every tiny little detail in this marker, from the 
here technical term, the transorb inside from the nibs, from the plastic casing, the proprietary ink formulation, the Japanese nibs that we um, source and secure into our pens, everything, the mould for this marker, proprietary to Crafters Companion, the shape of this marker, proprietary to Crafters Companion. We just make sure that you get a unique experience with all of the best components put together to deliver you exceptional value, but a brilliant user experience when you get them home. Mm, absolutely, yeah. And from speaking to our customers, you know, from the reviews, seeing what you're saying to each other, I think that is absolutely definitely uh, the case. Uh, right, hair, I believe, is next. Leanne? Yes. Now, a lot of you really struggle with hair and you, you can make it complicated for yourself or you can make it easy. And as you know, I'm all about the making it easy. So we're going to deal with her hair exactly as we dealt with... Um, Exactly as we dealt with Fluffy's legs <laughs> and how we dealt with also the uh, texture on the daisy. So I'm going to start with the lightest colour. Now what, you want, what I want you to do, and I'll just turn this around so you can see, what I want you to do is look at each part of her hair as a different section and you can see it here. So we can see that here is a wave falling over this wave, here is the top of her fringe, here is a piece falling under, here is another piece falling under. So when you look at this coloured image, you can see that's exactly what we've done. Tret each little wave as a separate piece when we colour. And that's what I want you to do. Not try and colour in all of her hair, but choose an area, focus on it, and then move on to the next area. I'll show you what I mean by that. We'll start with this little piece up here. So I'm going to start with my lightest colour. And actually, I'm going to show you how you can do a smooth blend hair which will look as beautiful as a flicked hair because it can be when you're a new starter much easier than doing a flicked hair um, and so and also what it does do is allow you to start to understand where the where you need to put color so you can see there i'm following round that piece and then this piece of fringe is coming and falling over the top can you see that so applying the light color on the section of hair that I'm dealing with right now. And that is it. I will not go beyond that in this colouring exercise. What I am doing is preserving my highlight in the middle. So then I'm going to take my next darkest colour and I'm going to bring that out on top and follow that round. And we're just doing the smooth blend, preserving the highlight. The smooth blend is stroking the colour in place. And then I'm going to take, I think I might have a little bit of a ready brown in here, why not? And I'm not coming out quite as far but I'm just smooth blending this in place and you see stroking it on, following the section of hair that I decided was going to be the section I'm focusing on and following that around, not being tempted to come outside of it. Then what I'm going to do now is re reverse that. So I'm going with the middle colour that I used and I'm bringing that final dark colour out into my preserved highlight with my smooth blend bringing that in and then I'll take my lightest colour that I start, started with into my preserved highlight Oh, awesome! and I start to get that movement in her hair. Now if I want to make that a little bit darker to make it even more of an impact, now once I've done all of that I can go in to the real shaded depths of the hair here. So you see I'm just going round the perimeter with this darker colour into the shadows which we've got here and then around there, bring that in and then just go back with the process again and never think that this is, all, this is a, like a quick two-step process that you have to have it done in 30 seconds. It's meant to be, you know, a cathartic, enjoyable experience. So just take your time. And so I'm just reversing exactly what I did before with all of those colours back into that preserved highlight in the centre. So going from the darkest now through one stage lighter all the way until I get to the lightest tone and then that joins them together and that gives me the movement in that piece of hair. Now what we're going to do is deal with this piece that's falling over the top. So remember what I said about my nose and nose being forward and getting the light because this piece of hair is falling over this piece the light wants to be hitting at the top so that's where my preserved highlights going to be. So I'm starting with the lightest tone again I'm dealing with this piece of hair and I'm not going to be persuaded to move out of that piece of hair. So there it is there. That's the little piece that's moving over her fringe. That's getting dealt with right now. 
and I'm going to apply my darker colour oops brush nib in the same way so that's coming round there it is a lot there. of people loving these demonstrations. Maureen says, Leanne, you're superb at explaining your demonstration. I give me hope for my colouring. I never know where to put the shadowing. Uh, so this is definitely uh, help helping. Uh, Catherine says, uh, how do you bring shading to very small spaces without going outside the lines, adding too much ink? Does that make sense? Then? Yes, and I'll show you that with her lips. Awesome. As soon as you've done the hair, I'll do that with the lips. So you see, all I'm doing is working backwards now. I'm working backwards so you can see, and if we look at her direct down, um, you can see there that I'm working back with those colours and in still preserving my highlight. Now that I've got those colours on there, I can go in with the darkest colour, and I always go in with this last, because you can, you can put too much of this on if you go in with it too soon, because you, you can be forgiven for thinking you need more than you actually do to add that shade. So follow the line that I'm following there with that dark colour and then bring my middle colour back in, follow the line again, brings them together, all, all the time working back up into my preserved highlight, my middle colour, working back up into my preserved highlight, you can see I'm doing that there, my last colour is the light one, back into the preserved highlight and what that does is allow that piece of hair Love to that. look like it's folded over the top of the piece underneath because we kept the light touching the dark here so now this looks like it's moving and it's got that beautiful movement in there we would do exactly the same under here and down here and if I show you this now you can see exactly what I'm talking about because then I treat this piece on its own this piece this piece this piece this piece this piece and that's how they all then layer over the top of each other you get that beautiful movement you don't have to be flicking hair forever to get lovely light and shade it can be done very easily just stroking the colors on with these markers and these markers do make that technique very very easy for mm, you absolutely uh, they do uh, getting really really busy now as we move towards the end of the show i'll tell you what i'll do i'll just recap uh, just in pictures the three different deals that we've got and then uh, what we'll do is uh, at the end of the show i'll go back full in full details everything that is available for you because it is getting really busy over on the website now uh, there's a lot of you trying to check out at the moment we'll get to each and every one of you don't you worry uh, we're good for stock at the minute i mean you've got to uh, if you want to make your mind up uh, i understand it is a considered purchase but if you want amazing value this is here for you the mega bundle uh, represents the best value for money 200 pounds or 160 dollars uh, 160 pounds as a platinum member 220 dollars as a platinum member in the us we also then have the 36 marker, collect marker collection for you as well 100 pounds or 145 dollars becomes 80 pounds or 116 dollars and then there is a 20 piece collection uh, available for you as well if you want to go for that if it's just a dip your toe in that you're after 50 pounds or 75 dollars now i don't really know we don't have a huge amount of time uh, left leanne but i know that you want to color her lips is that right i do i was i was in a coloring coma there doing um, Not a problem. more hair um because i just i love that technique i can't encourage you enough to do this at home so her lips are a very very small area i'm sure you would agree um so what i'm going to do is take the fine bullet tip now of the illustrator marker and just little circular motions and the fine bullet tip allows you to get that colour in um, with the tiny little circular motions into really small areas without it bleeding. Never really try to go into an area like this with your brush tip. Um, I mean, why, you, there's no need for you to when, you know, we've given you the fine tip on the other end of the marker. And then, so I've done the light colour in the middle. Now I've got this darker pink um, on the outside and you can see I can go right into the point in the crease of her mouth there and no bleeding happens. Very, very easy to do. Do the same on the other side. So again, lips when pursed will be at their lightest in the centre of the lip coming forward and will be at their darkest at the corners. So we put the dark colour in the corners and then with that light colour, that first layer, we then blend that back into the preserved highlight. We've got a lovely dimensional lip in a small area by just using that really small bullet tip. Love it. Absolutely love it. 
uh, what, uh, and really great. Great you've got both tips on there as well, remember. I had a question coming in from Catherine. Uh, no, Catherine, it was about the shading. Dana says, late to the join today. Apologies if this was asked. I bought the HSN Illustrator packs. Would there be duplicates if I bought today's bundle? I mean, I, off the top of my head, don't know which colours were in the HSN packs. Do you, Leanne? I don't, but no. I think, you know, I think you might end up with a couple. I don't know whether you would with all. Um, that's up to you. And of course, they're not, you know, as long as you leave it in the pack and you haven't took the cap off and you're not using them, they're going to be okay on your shelf for when one runs out and you can replace it with another one but we do have an infinite number of markers and so you might end up with a couple mm, of duplicates absolutely what you can always do is go over to the website craftscompanion.co.uk.com.eu have a look under the product description and it will tell you all of the colour shades uh, and uh, colour codes that are in these bundles you could then cross check that against the colour codes and, uh, that you already own would be maybe a way of doing it have you got anything you want to put forward for the demo of the show to vote on uh, am Leanne? I allowed to you are allowed oh, to yeah um, what have you got well, do, should we do Mother Nature? Sorry? Should we, do, should we put yeah. Mother Nature forward? Mother Nature in? Have you got, would no, you like, have you got any would others? Would you like the little dragon? Well, why don't you choose? Why don't we put George? Mother Nature and the dragon and we'll let people vote? Yeah, OK. Mother Nature and the dragon. Mother Nature. Do you want to show us them both again? Yes. Awesome. Yes, uh, so Mother Nature the dragon or showed the dragon. you all of the lovely um, different palette blending, didn't it? And oh, would you like me to show you like that? Oh, like this. Oh, awesome. Uh, so let us know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm keeping everybody on their toes. Let, I'm going to do this for you. It makes it easy. There we go. Brilliant. Mother uh, Nature and the Dragon. So um, Mother or Dragon, yeah. Mother or Dragon, let us know in the comments uh, which one uh, you want to vote for to go through to the demo of the show. You've got five minutes to get your votes in there, guys, okay? Uh, I want to share with you some of the awesome pictures that you guys have been sending, and we love it uh, when you share your creativity uh, with the crafty community. Um, so you can always email us any pictures now, studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. Don't forget this isn't our last show of the day today either. We're going to be up with the craft fault in an hour's time as well. Shelley sent this picture in for us, Leanne. Look at that with the gorgeous uh, Molly Harrison oh, stamp. Oh, that Shelley, that just well done. That's beautiful um, shade and depth and dimension in there. I really love it. Really love Very well done. Oh, we've had more in. Cindy sent us this <gasps> one in. Cindy. Love that flower. Oh my word. Look at the movement on that. And you know, you can see there that Cindy has done is exactly what I've been explaining to you with the hair on Mother Nature, where the darker of the petals at the base, and you can see them overlapping. Fabulous, Cindy. Brilliant. Uh, Michelle sent us uh, a picture in as well. Oh, it's Floofy. Oh, Floofy. Very well done, Michelle. That's lovely. Really love that. Uh, and also, Gail sent us in one of the Lee Holland uh, ones. Oh, <gasps> I love that. That's awesome. Oh, Gail. Oh, my word. Seriously, very beautiful. Thank you. Oh, my, I just love that. That's really better awesome. than mine. I love that. <laughs> it really is fantastic. Right, let me run you back through these deals and offers uh, that we've got on the show uh, for you. I want to take you back through that big collection that you've got available here because there is a lot in. Let me take you through the swatches first of the tones uh, and shades that you've got included in here. So let's go through these first. So what you're going to get in here, of course, are the 12 piece of the sketches, which are those sketching, 12 piece collection. You've got your landscape ones there as well. You've also got the seascape here. And you've got the figure as well, which is absolutely awesome. And you've got the illus the uh, they are illustrators, Joe. Come on, get the program. You've had two hours. You've got the earth <laughs> colours in here. It's been a very long week, guys. Uh, and you've got tones in here as well. If you've got Joe fatigue, don't worry. You've only got tomorrow to put up with me, and then I'm not here for four whole days i know uh, ben is going to be here for a few days uh with you as well uh, i'll be back with you um oh next thursday me and liana got a car i'll do that in a minute joe come on get on uh what i want to share with you is some of the other stuff that's included in here i know i'm losing it uh you've got your four ink pads included in here which is brilliant what am i like and you're going to get your pen storage which is fantastic so 72 marker storage uh wallet that you can move around with truly portable which is excellent it really is a whole uh, it really is a fantastic whole hobby uh, in a box this which is brilliant uh, we then have here uh, the rocker blocks as well as you can see so you're getting those in here you're getting the stamping mat you're getting this the uh, six by six stamping platform you're getting all of the stamps included here as well lots of these you've seen the Anne using in the show and you're going to get two packets of the stamping card included as well platinum members 160 pounds um, in the UK remove the cost of the pens actually if you you basically compared to buying Buying the extra elements, you're paying an extra £20 for all of the pens, which is amazing because Club Inspire Platinum members can get this for £160. 
pounds, which is brilliant. $220, which is also awesome. Now, uh, this is a definitely, if you are really serious about this, remember, when it comes to our Spectrum Noir ranges, the illustrators are the top of the tree. They're the creme de la creme. They are absolutely incredible. Leanne has told you all through this about the proprietary ink formulations, the quality of that amazing Japanese nib. And I think if you, if you want to dip your toe and try them, absolutely do. What I would say is, don't think that you're going to buy a four piece of these and then you're going to come back in a month's time or two months time and we're going to repeat something like this. I haven't seen a deal as good as this on the illustrators in the whole time that I've been here, uh, which is what, coming out for 14 months now. So I think if you think that you're going to buy a couple of these and then you're going to want to come back and then expand the collection, I would say dive in and get something that you know is going to grow with you. Maybe rather than starting your colouring journey with something entry level, which we are more than happy to provide you with, and we provide you with great entry level products when it comes to our Spectrum Noir range. If you think that actually, do you know what, over time you're probably going to want to go on a journey with your colouring and level up and have the best of the best when it comes to alcohol markers, why not start with the best? Because there's nowhere to go. Once you've got the best, you're never going to have to come up and up, back and upgrade these. Yes, it's something that will grow because of course you've still got hundreds more pens that you can add to this collection over time. So it's still going to be exciting. You're still going on a journey. You're just not going to have to totally upgrade your stash. And as we said with colouring, you know, it is a considered purchase when you get started. But unlike a lot of other crafting and a lot of other hobbies, you're not having to come back and buy uh, pens again and again and again. Invest well, invest once, buy the best, and it's done. All you're going to do is treat yourself to a new stamp every now and then, maybe an ink pad occasionally, and get yourself some awesome quality cards. So all of that we can help you with uh, as you go along the journey. I can, it's getting super, super busy now on that big collection. Uh, I am starting to get a little bit concerned about the stock. I know I did say that we, would, uh, we had enough stock to last you, but it is very busy. Uh, Far and away, this is the busiest of the three bundles. I will just quickly show you very quickly the other two bundles that are available. There is a 36 piece marker collection available for you in the show as well. If you want to go for that, you can. It's £100 or it's $145, £80 or $116 as a Club Inspire Platinum member. This is it. There is also a 20 marker collection. If you wanted to dip your toe in, then you can. Uh, that one as well at a great price, £50 or $75. Even the individual four packs are available. We've got you covered, whatever it is that you're going for. But if you want great value, you want something that's really going to last you, uh, and stand the test of time, go for that big collection. Uh, Mother Nature is the winner, uh, Leanne, of the uh, card of the show. I know you've got a few bits over there, haven't you, that you'd like to share with us before the end? Yes, I've just been um, continuing on colouring with that little bit of Mother Nature there with her hair, so you can see how that all comes together. That's going to be very easy for you to do. But you can see here, beautiful daisies with very subtle colour in there, if that's what you want. Very realistic colouring on the little animals that we've got here. Look how beautiful that, I mean, that just looks truly dimensional. And that's the technique with Floofy and Mother Nature combined to get that dark in there and those flicks. Very, very easy to do. You can tint your photographs with these. There's my little mini in tink. I didn't get to show you how, so I'm going to very quickly show you on a black and white photograph. Just colour over with your bullet tip on your illustrator marker and you've got colour tinted photographs. Um, very quickly and easily to use as well and then just have a look at Floofy, the little bunny I mean this this one just makes me sigh when I see it the mm, oh, oh, I mean just gorgeous really really beautiful we've got the little um, field mice in there etc etc so many different things you can do and of course head along to my Facebook page go and have a look for these images because all of the skin and hair tones are worked out for you and you can use that as a resource when you're colouring at home yes absolutely don't miss out I know a lot of you uh, with very uh, in the checkout process at the moment make sure you check out make sure you don't uh, miss out if you want to have a little think about it you're more than welcome to but remember uh, the deal will only last as long as we've got the stock or uh, about 48 hours probably good till about Sunday evening uh, to grab hold of these I'm going to go and put some more uh, concealer on my friend uh, ready for the next uh, show it's bring your mate to work day today judging by my forehead Leanne uh, <laughs> actually it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger I'm going to get in the studio by 7pm uh, we've got a great craft fault though haven't we coming up in an hour's time We've got a fantastic craft vault. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, we've actually even added some items into the craft vault because so many sold out in that earlier show. So make sure you join us back here in an hour. Don't forget to get, uh, check out your baskets. We'll see you back here for craft vault. Some awesome 50% uh, off deals uh, will be here for you. 
uh, in an hour's time. It's going to be Sarah Day tomorrow as well. I'm here with Sarah for three shows, and then I'm on my own in the evening. I might even do a bit of crafting. I don't think it will be flower forming, though. It's a flower forming craft bowl. I can't imagine me flower forming. I just don't see it going to happen. Uh, talk about me doing some crafting, though. You definitely want to watch my social media over the next few days whilst I'm off. Leanne might have furnished with me with uh, a whole host of crafty goodies, including a large Gemini, and everything I need to do that craft along from earlier. So definitely go back and check that out uh, if you didn't see it. Uh, grab yourself a cup of coffee. We're going to have a coffee and a gossip, I think. So we'll see you back here in an hour's time. Take care.